Hey car enthusiasts, welcome back to the Austrian Car Guy. Today we're diving deep into ignition systems with a spotlight on the General Motors High Energy Ignition Distributor. Buckle up, because we're about to explore the pros, cons, features and what makes it special. The GM Hay distributor made its debut in the mid-70s and quickly became a staple in many GM vehicles. Now let's break down the pros of this iconic ignition system. One of the standard features of the Hay distributor is its integrated ignition coil. Unlike traditional systems, the Hay distributor combines the coil and distributor into a single unit, simplifying the ignition setup. True to its name, the high energy ignition system produces a powerful spark. This translates to a better combustion, improved fuel efficiency and overall enhanced engine performance. Installing the Hay distributor is relatively straightforward. The integrated design eliminates the need for an external coil, making the overall setup cleaner and more user-friendly. Built to withstand the rigors of the road, the Hay distributor is known for its durability. The solid construction and sealed components contribute to its longevity, ensuring reliable performance over the years. Now, as with any technology, there are some cons to consider. Let's take a look. One of the drawbacks of the Hay distributor is its size. The integrated design can be bulkier compared to traditional distributors, which might pose a challenge in tight engine bays. While the Hay distributor is a robust system, it does have limitations when it comes to upgrades. Enthusiasts looking for advanced tuning options might find themselves somewhat constrained. Now what makes the Hay distributor truly special? It brought innovative timing control to the table, with a centrifugal advance mechanism and vacuum advance for load-based timing adjustments, it was ahead of its time in terms of precision. Thanks to its sealed design, the Hay distributor requires minimal maintenance. The elimination of some external wires and the integrated coil mean fewer components to worry about, making it an attractive option for those seeking reliability. This system has proven its dependability. I have never come across any information indicating the Hay distributor failing. And personally, I have never encountered any issues with it. There was a moment when I thought I had trouble, swapped out the ignition control module only to discover it was another part that had malfunctioned. You'll get the full story in this video. However, if you do find yourself facing issues with this distributor, rest assured that troubleshooting is straightforward. You can easily replace specific parts such as the coil, ignition control module, pickup coil or the cap and rotor if the contacts are worn. Introducing a unique iteration of the Hay distributor, a distinctive version utilized in the fuel-injected Cadillac Seville. In this particular model, the distributor's wiring is intricately connected to an EFI control unit. The incorporation of the Hay distributor brings about a cleaner design, streamlining the engine's aesthetics. However, as fuel injection technology emerged, the under-the-hood landscape became more intricate. In fact, this evolution towards fuel injection complexity is one of the factors driving my decision to transition from port fuel injection to a carbureted engine, as discussed in detail in this video. There you have it folks, the General Motors High Energy Ignition Distributor, a true icon in the world of ignition systems. Despite a few drawbacks, its innovative design, ease of installation and reliable performance make it a favorite among many car enthusiasts. If you've had any experiences with the Hay distributor, share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned for more automotive adventures here on That Austrian Car Guy. And as always, drive safe, take care and see you in the next one.
Auf Wiedersehen. 